Now today I'm gonna to make an apple tart with puff pastry. Really simple to prepare and absolutely delicious. You can have this hot or cold, whenever you like, it's wonderful. So for making up this apple tart, I'm just gonna go through the ingredients I'm gonna use. Now I've got them all laid out, got me apples, I'm gonna use five Cox's apples. Now they're really nice eating apples and I find they're really good for this recipe. So obviously in your case, if you've got other ones, just use what you've got. Now I've also got some ready rolled puff pastry, all butter this one. So just gonna roll that out and that's gonna be your base. And it just makes a really delicious, you know, sort of you bite into it, it's nice light pastry with your apples. Now I've also got some apricot jam, I'm gonna use three tablespoons, that's the big one, of apricot jam. Put that in the microwave, 10 or 15 seconds, and then we can just brush that over the apples. Three tablespoons, again the big spoon, of sugar. I've got caster sugar, but use whatever you've got. If you've got dark sugar, use that, it's up to you. Three tablespoons. Cinnamon, ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon. Butter. 20, 25 grams of butter. Take it straight out of the fridge, chop it up into nice fine pieces and you can just sprinkle those over the apples. Now, the reason I've got a lemon there is because when you sort of peel and you're gonna chop and core your apples, you need to put them in either a little bit of lemon juice or a little bit of lemon juice and water you know, to help prevent them from sort of browning off. So I'll use a little bit of water probably all that sort of juice out of the lemon and mix it around and then drain it off and then your apples will still look a nice colour, you know, a little bit white when you put them on the pastry. So there's all the ingredients. Now what I'm gonna do next is peel, core and slice the apples. Now I'm gonna get my apples all prepared. Now I've got my lemon and I'm just gonna just quickly chop that in half and then we can just squeeze all the juice in there it doesn't matter if you get the odd pit, you just leave those behind. So now I've got the lemon juice with the water. Now I've also got my machine here. Now I'm going to be using this. This is quite a cheap machine. I've actually done a video on this. It's really good. It's under a tenner and it just peels, cores and slices apples so easily. Obviously, if you haven't got one of these, which I'm sure a lot of you haven't, then just be careful and you know, just peel the apple, take the core out and slice it down nice and fine. Now, I'm gonna get on with using my machine. So, let's just move these apples back a minute, bring the machine into view, that's it. And what I'm gonna do is just put that like that. And we grab an apple, just pop it on roughly in the middle if you can. And then you just turn that. Uh, you see it's just doing the old thing for you. Nice and easy. Look at that. And we can come back again. It'll just take the core off. Lovely. Now I'm just gonna pop that in there a minute. Just swash that around like that. We can just cut it with a knife in a minute. So I'll just do the same with all the apples I'm using. Just pull that off and do it again. So I'll carry on and do the rest. So there you go. I've done the apples, I've rolled them around in the juice. And what I'm gonna do is just slice them down the middle and then they're gonna be ready to go on the tart. So let's just move all that back, clear up the mess and then get on with rolling out the puff pastry. Now it's a good moment to switch your oven on and get it preheated. Now in the background, I've got my oven on because we're gonna get that preheated. Now I've got my apples there. What I'm gonna do is just drain them off. So get a sieve, tip it all into the sieve, drain them off as much as you can. And then afterwards, we're just gonna slice them in half. So like half rounds, and that's ready to decorate the puff pastry. Now I've got my puff pastry there. Little tips, try and keep it in the fridge just until the last minute when you're gonna use it. Now let's just open it up and roll it out. There you go, I've just laid out the pastry. Let's say it's ready rolled, ready to go, so nice and simple. Now, just round the edges, very gently. I'm not gonna dig right the way through. I'm just gonna kind of, just put a light scoring in, like that. Get a fork, just stab it, 
Oh, blow it up. Do us. Now, with the apples, I have drained mine off. I don't know if you can see there, but I'm just going to kind of cut them in half. Yeah, do it this way. Now, what we can then do is just start at one end. Just slightly overlap them if you can. And you just follow that suit all the way around so there's plenty of delicious apple there. So there you go, I've got my apple tart all done, all laid out. Now next of all, I'm gonna put the sugar and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So add in half a teaspoon of cinnamon, like that. Just give that a quick mix up. And you can sprinkle that all over the top of the, the apple. Ooh, lovely. I mean, obviously, depending on your apples, you might wanna use less sugar. Just debate on whether I'm gonna use all this, but. Get you soon. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use all mine. Obviously, if you was using cooking apples, you definitely would have want to add a little bit more. Now, next of all, I've got me apricot jam. Now, what I'm going to do with that, just pop it in the microwave, 10, maybe 15 seconds. It just make it a little bit easier to brush over the apple. That's it, I actually did mine for about 20 seconds. Now before I put that on, I just wanna grab these little bits of butter and just kind of sprinkle those on. I mean, if you find once you've cut it, you can always pop it in the freezer. They just make it easier to keep it into little cubes. You just wanna like spread it around a little bit. So I'll carry on doing that. Now with the apricot jam, work it in a little bit and just try and get it really nicely coated on the apple. So again, I'll carry on until I've used all that up. There you go, just about finished all that. I think I've pretty much got it everywhere. Lovely. Just spread that batter around. So that is now ready to go in a preheated oven. Now with the apple tart, I'm just gonna place mine in a preheated oven. Now, if you wanted to, around the edges on the pastry, you could just brush it with a little bit of beaten egg and it would just give the pastry a little bit of color when it's cooking. I'm not gonna bother doing that. I'm gonna put it in as it is and it will still look delicious. So let's pop it in the oven. Now my oven's preheated, so just gently place that in there like that. Now I've got my oven set at 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit, gas mark six. Now cook time, I would say you're looking at 20, 25, maybe 30 minutes. What you're looking for is the, you know, all the apples who are softened down and the puff pastry to be nicely puffed up. So cook until you think it's done. Now I've left the apple tart for just coming up for 25 minutes. I had a quick peek and look at that. That has got a really beautiful colour in it. It looks delicious. Now I reckon that's done. I'm going to pull that out, put it on the table, let it cool down, and then we're going to try some. Now with the apple tart, I've left mine for about 10 minutes just to cool down slightly. I mean, you can serve it warm or you could leave it for it to go completely cold and it'd be lovely with a cup of tea. Now I'm going to serve mine up warm with a little bit of ice cream and creme fraiche. Now the piece I'm going to go for, just to keep it easy, is going to half of this so you just go along there like that lovely oh yeah I think if you just cut that in half it's a good size piece now let's put it on a plate so I think I'll move this back get myself a plate so let's just grab a piece of that oh that puff pastry is lovely and crispy now, I'm going to serve mine up, say, a little bit of ice cream. So, got a bit of vanilla ice cream there. Oh, yeah. And also, I've got some creme fraiche. I mean, obviously, you don't have to use both of these. Just use one of them or eat it on its own. Right, let's get stuck in and try this. And so you could pick this up, eat it with your hands. Look at that, 
it's you know it's not all soggy bottom or anything really delicious or as I'm going to use I'm just going to go with a, a spoon there so I can get a bit of ice cream on it Mmm. That is delicious. The apple's nice and soft. You get a bit of cinnamon, but the apricot jam, oh, it's really nice. And it's not all soggy, because we, you know, put the fork in the bottom there. Absolutely delicious, this is. You've got to go and make this. Now, I'm just going to have to try one more bit. Oh, a bit of creme fraiche this time. Put a bit of spoon on that on. Mm. Go and try this. It's so simple, delicious, with that creme fraiche as well. Wonderful. Thanks for watching my videos. See you in the next one. And if you haven't subscribed and you like what I do, why not subscribe? See you again, the original Naked Chef.